maximum suction tests. See, this is how we're set up. I'll start out on low and then bump it up to high. I don't know about you, but I am very excited to test this VacLab brand X11 Pro stick vac on the airflow and suction box. So this company, VacLab Inc., which is, believe it or not, not the same as my channel, even though it's spelled the same, contacted me and said, hey, we have a brand of vacuum that we would like you to test. So they sent me a review sample. So this is a non-paid review, even though the name VacLab matches my own. So with this particular stick vac, I did do a little pre-testing and I found out that you can remove the filters, that is the pre-motor filter and of, course, and of course the post-motor HEPA filter. So we will be doing two tests with this. Uh, the brush roll always stays on, of course, but rather than just doing the single test, we can at least do two. And sitting over to the right there in the bottom of your screen is a bunch of the accessories that actually comes with the machine. And it does come with multiples of these. This is a little pre-motor filter. It goes on top of the cyclonic assembly up there. This one I happen to just uh, use a little bit, washed it, and it's drying, but I have a fresh one installed in the main unit. Okay, set this to max. Started out on low with all the filters in. All right, we seem to be peaking at about 19.75 CFM. And now it looks like high speed is 27.20 CFM. So now I need to take the unit apart and take all the filters out. And don't run your machine without the filters. See, there's the HEPA exhaust filter. These machines need their filters in order to work properly. And now I need to stick. The pre-motor filter off. I'll show you how to do that real quick. Untwist, and then it just pops out. And we'll go and test with all the filters out just to see if you wondered why do we bother to test like that it's because i want to see how much airflow those filters consume come on there we go it's a little fiddly to get back together okay so with the fresh filters out Let's see how much this actually goes up. So we'll reset, put on max. Okay, all right, low speed. So not exactly a whole lot of change. So what that means is these filters right here in brand new condition don't really hamper this machine's ability to suck air through its power nozzle. All right, let's take a look at the suction. All right, gonna start out on high and uh, see if this stays in the hole and then I'll bump it down to low, see what happens.
Lastly, let's see what's going on with exhaust particle count. You've seen what the circular filter looks like earlier in the video, and we're going to run it on high power. Okay, scores like this is still very good despite not being triple zeros. However, you do see the 10 and the 2.5 micrometer both being zero. And the 0 0.3, normally when I see a number that's around a thousand or so, I would rate this machine at an H10 uh, for emissions output. It's definitely not H11. Think more about H10, which is just fine.